Uh, good morning everybody. It is July 22nd, 2018. I'm going to be doing my, uh, I try to do this every couple days to do a update over Hawaii, over Kilauea, over Mauna Loa, and just over the recent activity that's been going on on the island. Um, before I get into it, I want to let you guys know, uh, you know, it, it's, I'm not being able to upload as much as I would like to right now. Um, the majority of you, and I don't think probably any of you really understand um, what I have going on over here where I live, what's going on on a daily basis, what I'm having to deal with, what I'm trying to do, and the stuff that I'm trying to accomplish. Um, so, I, I, I'm willing to touch on it for just, just a second. Like, so, understand some days are very hard for me to upload i i live and take care of my mom right now so she's completely blind and deaf and and i want to say she has dementia or maybe schizophrenia um and it's pretty bad so some days i have my hands completely full um but absolutely no family help at all and so i'm trying to help her with everything while also trying to do my schooling and trying to work and trying to um put these videos out for you guys and just trying to keep everything going in a in a um, a forward manner because at times I do get swamped and overwhelmed um, but as I said I, I'm trying to the the channel this channel means a lot to me because when I made this I have another channel as I've talked about prior um, but this channel I felt like I, I would have a better chance of being able to really um, express myself and be able to really really take advantage of what YouTube has to offer essentially so uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead now and get back on to the main subject but that's I just want to let you guys know sometimes I just have a lot going on so it's hard for me to go ahead and upload daily like I had been um, but I it just depends like I said some days are much better than others and just the past couple of days just been real rough but as I said we're, we're gonna get back to subject now so this is the update from Saturday July 21st 2018 from the Hawaii Volcano Observatory um, where they're talking this we're gonna go over the uh, the Kilauea lower east rift zone at first which is where Fisher 8 is located Fisher 8 continues to erupt lava into the channel leading northeastward from the vent overnight UAV flights were grounded due to the weather the most vigorous ocean entry is located a few hundred meters northeast of the south of the southern flow margin with a few tiny uh, Pahoho toes were entering the ocean where the Kapoho Bay lobe to the north and I'm gonna say I butchered that uh, the southern margin of the flow remains about 500 meters, 0.3 miles from the boat ramp at Isaac Hale Park. No other fishers are active this morning. So, I, I was reading this and I pulled up the lava flow, which is right here. And it, it, I started kind of just speculating, considering, uh, and I have touched on the subject before of Helena. Helena, um, where are you, little map? I have a map. Here we go, Helena. Uh, as a lot of you have asked me the differences and where Helena is located. So here's a good map. Here's Kilauea. Here's the Helena fault system. Here's Helena. It stops about right, like I said, like right here. So, but one, the reason why I brought this up, Fisher 8 is located like right over here somewhere. Maybe like right, right here, some, somewhere over here. But all of that lava flow, and we'll go back to it, it's all pouring out onto Helena. Helena is already and like I said this is a landslide potential map the LS and the LA these two areas are known and are prone to landslides so that's that's the only reason that's a lot of extra weight being put on Helena that could potentially trigger a landslide because of the active lava flow that's flowing onto it okay so the lava that flows onto this onto this land is not light it's heavy stuff so if the land, if the Helena is already giving away in certain areas and then it starts having lava flows on top of it, it gives it a bit, it's just a greater probability of it failing. Um, here are, pre like, so this is an article and I'll, I'll link it. I'm not going to read it because I already have it in previous videos, but this kind of gives you a better, uh, better idea of what I'm talking about. So here's the Helena slump and here's the debris field of where it's already failed before. So that's why people are worried about this is not just speculation. This has happened. Just the, just like the Alika Mega event that I showed on the other side of Mauna Loa, the, there is, like I said, there's debris fields. So this is the reason why I talk about it. I don't, I, I'm not a big fan of speculating about stuff that could happen that's never happened before. I, I'm all about if it's happened, let's get the news out there because history repeats itself quite often. Um, and the reason, so 
and on May 4th, 2018, what really kind of took off this whole uh, Kilauea, the whole reason why Kilauea started erupting, the whole reason why all the seismic activity really started on the island was due to the 6.9 earthquake we had on May 4th, 2018. And it made Helena move by almost two feet. And it resulted in the Helena slump moving about two feet. So that's one thing that we've always been worried about and that's the only thing that brought, was brought to my attention or that i wanted to bring to you guys attention that i kind of it, it just kind of worried me because like i said here's isaac hill park right here leilani estate so it's not going that far here's uh there's kilauea right here so imagine helena's about right here all the way down so the lava keeps flowing you know and i there's no telling when it's going to stop they put out a report that it could be go years so I'm just saying imagine extra weight being put on a landslide potential area already it just in my opinion gives it a more probability of failing so we'll switch over now i wanted to show before i showed the most recent nsar what a like a, a huge slide event would look like on the nsar radars so here is the may or the may 2nd to the may 8th nsars you could see where when we had the earthquake and what it did to the radars so over here in helena so here's kilauea pull up this image for you actually make it so you don't have to squint one moment while this pulls up okay so here's kilauea right here when we had the earthquake it dropped more than 450 millimeters right there and so this whole area right here is what i'm worried about now the nathan hill park is up here but the flow, if like I said, if it keeps going years on years, it's just gonna start adding weight, more and more weight onto Helena, which like I said, it just it just raises concern in my eyes. So we'll exit out of that. And now, like I said, so just kind of take that into consideration. Look at the the left displays, it, it shows the same. This is ground motion, this is ground lift, and ground um, where it subsides. So just look at the ring bands that's how you could tell there's a lot of movement going on by the bands so now we'll scroll down and look at the most recent video that's been or not video but the most recent image put out scroll down here there we are all right so i'll go back one just so you guys can see it previously so this is from july 10th to the 16th over here on the right and it honestly doesn't look like that much activity is really going on there was a little bit of movement and stuff around the actual summit and crater of um, Mauna Loa, but on the outsides of it, not too much. Down in Kilauea, it's still still falling. Uh, Helena at times rises or it moves to the west, which is indicated by the red. Uh, but then it all of a sudden goes back to falling or moving to the east. So I'm not exactly too sure what's going on, but it's common on these islands because I mean essentially the whole island is it's just one big well, I'm not gonna say one big volcano because obviously it's not, but it, this act is so close to Kilauea, it lifts and it, it it deflates with the volcano essentially. So that, or at least that's what I'm thinking is happening. Because if you look back at the Antars, it rises, it falls, it rises, it falls, it rises. So it just, I assume it's working together with it. I'm not a geologist. Let me get that cleared because some people watch my videos and think I'm a geologist. I'm not. Uh, I am someone who who can interpret radars who can read over the information that's provided and give it to people in a decent manner um sometimes I, i'm not the greatest at it but I, I i assume you guys are fans which is why you guys watch my videos so i'll have all this linked to you uh we're gonna go over now to the actual kill away of monitoring and had a lot of i mean continuous activity we've had it going on now for uh like 80 some odd days uh, the greater caldera is still collapsing. Everything's falling in. If it wasn't morning, I'd pull up the cameras and show the images of the actual rate or the actual crater and stuff. But it's not going to be possible. Um, this tilt meter is doing good. I've been checking these outside meters because that, there was a time that these looked like they were failing. Because here's the greater caldera. Here's the main crater for Kilauea. And people ask me why I don't use the GPS's. You can't use the GPS that are located on Hawaii. Uh, the majority of them, if not all of them, are all broke. So they all stopped working at May 2018. Or some of them just aren't even online, like that one. Um, so they're either offline or they're outdated. So it's completely useless, which is why I provide the NSARS. NSARS will provide almost the same information that we're looking for as the GPS's do. 
uh, tilt meters if you don't understand how they work they they put out in micro radians which is the radial tilt of that position so if that helps you maybe uh, maybe it doesn't I don't know but that that's what the tilt meters uh, look at now uh, we'll take a quick look this is the active 3d uh, 3d earthquake viewer I have it set on Kilauea I'm gonna do a, another update on the plot earthquakes and this just kind of gives you another perspective of what's going on below the surface at um, I kill away and the surrounding area. Scroll this back a little bit. So as we hear, we have the depth chart right here. So 0, 8, 16 kilometers, 23, 31, 39 kilometers. And that's that's a deep earthquake. So 39 kilometers, pretty deep. The majority of them are at the surface or right around 5 to 10 kilometers. Which is expected because that's where the magma chamber is located at Kilauea, about 5 to 10 kilometers below the surface. I'll leave a link to this as well, and you can do this. This is you can do this anywhere. And I really enjoy this. Uh, it's not even a program, but I enjoy this. Um, I think that's all I had to show you guys today. Um, I, I'm gonna try for sure to make my uh, Yellowstone video because I it's all the there's a recent fissure that opened up and shut down the Grand Teton Park and that's concerning and there's other things I just wanted to talk about and I'll try to get that video done here in just a little bit uh, but other than that that's all I talked about on Hawaii today and um, like I said I'm gonna try to have another video about Hawaii in the next couple days as well have a great day guys